Hey everyone, welcome back to SAP Finance Lab. In today's video, we're going to deep dive into another important master data object in SAP controlling, the activity types. By the end of this video, you will learn what activity types are, real business examples, different activity types, categories, and price indicators, and finally, a hands-on demo on how to create activity types in SAP S4HANA. In SAP, an activity type represents a type of work or service performed by a cost center. For example, we have a production department in our company. So to be able to produce the product, we have to use the machine for two hours and the labor for one hour. So we create two activity types, one for the machine and the other for the labor. These activities are used to calculate the cost of the machine hour and the cost of labor hour and include these costs in the product. In activity types, we have two prices, the plan price and the actual price. In the beginning of the period, we calculate the plan price for the activity. For example, 50 EGP per machine hour and 100 EGP per labor hour. We also have the actual price for the activity type. When it's calculated, it's calculated at the period end. How it's calculated? It's calculated using the direct posting on cost centers divided by the actual activity quantity. Now let's see how we create an activity type in SAP S4HANA. To create activity types in SAP S4HANA, we use the Manage Activity Types Fiori app and click on Create. Okay, uh, here we enter the code for the activity type ZMCH01 Machine Hours, the description, validity, and we select the activity unit, let's say it's hours and the cost center category related to this activity type. In our case, we select the production. Here we have something very important. It's the activity type category. If we open this, we have four categories. The first one is manual entry, manual allocation. In this category, the plan quantities are entered manually. The actual quantities also are posted manually. It's used when activities cannot be captured automatically. For example, the HR training hours. The second one, the quantities cannot be entered manually. SAP calculates plan and actual quantities using tracing factors and allocation is always indirect. For example, the IT activity allocated based on number of computers, for example. The third one, manual entry, indirect allocation. Here you can enter plan quantities manual, the actual quantities posted via special non-allocatable function. And SAP allocates actual values indirectly via tracing factors. For example, uh, facilities cost center allocating based on the floor, floor space. The last one, the manual entry, no allocation. The quantities here are entered manually and we cannot allocate to any receiver. It's used mainly for information only activity types. For example, reporting KPIs or non-chargeable activities. So in our case, we're going to use the manual entry in direct allocation. Also, we have another important thing, which is the price indicator. We have for activity types, three price indicators. The first one, plan price automatically based on activity. The system calculates the price of the activity type automatically based on the plan activity and the plan cost. The second one, plan price automatically based on capacity. Here the system calculates the variable portion of the price based on the plan activity and the fixed portion is based on capacity. The third one is determined manually. Here you set the price for the activity types manually. So let's select the first one. For the allocation cost element, it's the secondary cost element used to allocate the cost. And then we have some indicators. Also, we have the activity type category and the actual price indicator for the actual activity prices. So we have the five target equal actual allocation. And for the actual price indicator, based on activity and then we create our activity type and that's how you create an activity type in sap s4 hana if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share the video with your sap colleagues thank you for watching and see you in the next video